Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're going to be taking a look at part 11 of our Swept in the Seattle series. Today's topic will be the Detroit Red Wings. The Wings finished with a 19-27-10 record, placing them 7th in the Central Division. Overall, this is a team that has really struggled last year, but they will continue to get better with the help of their new acquisitions over the trade deadline. Players like Jacob Brana, as well as their picks that they acquired from Washington and the Anthony Mantha trade, will provide much benefit for them. It was being led by Steve Eiserman, with no doubt he will bring the team back to what they once were. Now that we know about the team, let's look at the players, starting with the forwards. Dylan Larkin, Franz Nielsen, Robbie Fabry, Richard Panik, and Vladislav Nemestikov are all the players that meet the two forward exposed requirement. Other notable names include Jacob Brana, Hayden Verbeek, Giovanni Smith, Adam Ernie, Michael Rasmussen, Evgeny Svechnikov, and Tyler Bertuzzi. Riley Barber did not play the games, did not meet the game's played requirement, and all the other players are RFA's. Next up is the defense. There's only two play, there's only two defensemen that meet the 1D exposed requirement. Those players are Danny DeKaiser and Troy Stetcher. Uh, Philip Peronik is an RFA. Jenny Tarolski, Gustav Lindstrom, and Kristen Juice are all RFA's as well. And for the goalies, Thomas Grice, Kevin Fulcher, and Jonathan Bernier. Uh, Grice and Fulcher are the goalies that meet the one uh, goalie exposed requirement. And yeah. Now that we know about the players, let's start protecting them. Starting with the forwards. I believe that the three obvious players that will be protected include Dylan Larkin, Jacob Rana, and Tyler Bertuzzi. As these are the three players that will be around in their organization for a long time. And because of this, they will be most likely protected. Uh, the next two players I'm going to pick up is Robbie Fabry as well as Michael Rasmussen. I believe that both these players provide an enormous potential for them and that's why they'll be protected. Uh, as well as Adam Ernie who I believe will also be a big part of their future which is why they'll be keeping him. And finally if it comes down to uh, Jamal, uh, Giovanni Smith rather, Vladislav Mestikov and Evgeny Svechnikov. Um, I am going to go with uh, Giovanni Smith because I, he is younger. He's played in the NHL, he's been able to provide for them, whereas Mesikov's been kind of shaky and Sveshnikov's been even shakier. So that's why I'm going to go with Smith. Moving on to the defense, I believe Troy Stetcher over Danny DeKaiser because uh, DeKaiser is old, he has a bad contract, and it doesn't make sense for Seattle to pick him, so he most likely won't be selected, which means you don't have to protect him. Uh, as well as Fr uh, Philip Peronik and Jan Danny Trolsky. Uh, Kind of obvious picks over the other guys because the other guys aren't as good as them, nor have the same amount of potential. And for the goalies, uh, Jonathan Bernier or Thomas Grice. Bernier is, of course, a UFA, so I don't think they'll need to protect him. And Seattle most likely won't go after him. If they do, they'll look for him in free agency. But for that, I do believe Thomas Grice will be goalie protected. Uh, now it's Seattle's turn. I believe the three most important players the Kraken will take a look at will be Vladislav Nemestikov, Evgeny Svechnikov and Gustav Lindstrom. Overall, each of these players have their upgrades and downgrades. I believe in general, the Kraken will take a look at their forwards more due to them being better and having higher potential. So it comes down to Nemestikov versus Svechnikov. I believe that Nemestikov will be the one uh, selected due to him being under the NHL contract already and him being in the NHL in the first place. Um, in general, I think that's what the Kraken will be looking for as he does provide that experience, which uh, the Kraken are looking for right now especially um, because their team will be a young team and a rebuilding team so with young guys that have played in the NHL that will be the key for them so with that Mestikov will be Seattle's sixth forward if you made it this far in the video thanks for watching if you liked it drop a like if you really liked it consider subscribing tell all your friends about it and until next time, see ya.